2023 general election is over, but the stormy wind it left behind across the political landscape is yet to settle. Across the parties, there seems to be a looming implosion with the leadership crisis rocking. What happens where the center can no longer hold as the parties battle for political survival? The question is, why now? After all, there was a semblance of unity within the parties going into the election. For the All Progressives Congress, despite its victory at the last election, the controversy over campaign funds, monies accrued from expression of interest forms appear to be tearing the party apart as some aggrieved groups demand for the sack of the APC national chairman. For the People's Democratic Party, it's obviously yet to get over the delusion of defeat as accusation of anti-party activities continue to dictate the tune. The national leadership is not spared from this rumble with the court ordering the national chairman of the party to vacate his seat. As a party, we are prone to reconciliation. Before going into the general election, the party failed to bring back to its fold the five governors who severed relationship with the party. With the G5 crisis unresolved, the PDP appears to be heading for an implosion. However, the party that once boasted its world ruled Nigeria for 60 years has a way of reinventing itself. For the Labour Party, it appears to be a legal tsunami sweeping its national leadership with a court order restraining the national chairman the secretary and two other members from parading themselves as national officers. For the All Progressive Ground Alliance, it appears to be a never-ending legal battle for the seat of the national chairman. While the legal fireworks persist, a political solution seems a far cry. The new Nigerian People Party has not been spared from this crisis ravaging the political parties. From the blues, the party's national chairman, Professor Rufai Alkali, suddenly announced his resignation. No doubt, things seem to be falling apart for most of the top political parties. While ABGA and NNPP do not enjoy such resilience, except common sense prevails, the country may be sliding back to a two-party system. Binga Ashiru, Arise News.